everybody, welcome to season two of Boozy News. Happy 2014. Hey, what do we do in Boozy News? We find out our blood alcohol level. Here we go. Too drunk to drive the Hindenburg. We're not too drunk to do the news. Hey, welcome to 2014 Boozy News, everybody. Salut. Well, you can watch all that other crap, but we'll show you where it's really at. Cause there's nothing like the news is some blue. Tonight, according to the Center for Disease Control, 2.5 million Americans died last year. That is 286 people per hour. At this rate, Florida like should be totally empty by now. <laughs> Marijuana is legal in Colorado, even though some folks say it leads to short-term memory loss. Bonjour, ça va? Hey, did you know marijuana was just made legal in Colorado? E even though they say it leads to short-term memory loss. La bouche, la love. Alaska may have legal marijuana on the ballot next year, which leads to the obvious question, so are they just making marijuana legal in the place where it totally sucks to live without drugs? What is like Wyoming next? Oklahoma? Oklahoma! Okay! The National Institute of Alcohol Abuse says anything more than four drinks in one sitting for a woman is considered binge drinking. Four drinks in one sitting! So ladies, you know, like just get up and walk around every once in a while, like after your third drink. Like I know after four drinks, I gotta piss like every 10 minutes. Have some appetizers. Clams Casino. And then you're not binge drinking. Cheers. The former wife of a very famous author was arrested on felony assault charges after her boyfriend claimed, wait for it, that she pulled a Smith & Wesson gun out of her vagina. Not any gun, a Smith & Wesson gun, which is made in America, by American. But he, she pulled a gun out of her vagina, uh, did I say vagina, out of her vagina, and threatened her boyfriend, and he called the cops, and now she's in jail. This is an open letter to the boyfriend. When you see a girl reaching up into her vagina, just run. By the time she got that gun out of her vagina, you could have been at Uno's. You could have been having a, a margarita. You could have been at McDonald's having some hot wings with the bones. Don't eat the bones. In other orifice news, a man went to a Chinese hospital complaining of severe stomach pains and he had no idea why he was in pain. Uh, no, I don't know how that bottle got in my ass or the clothes hanger. I, I was at church. I have absolutely no idea how that beer bottle got in my ass. Where's my lawyer? Hey, and now we're gonna cut to our singing airline correspondent, Charlie Cockpit. Charlie! Hey, Nikki, how are you? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm at the backstage of the Ellen Show. I tried to get in the audience, but they told me I was a man and I couldn't get in. So I snuck back in another door and here I am, and maybe I'll just, I, I, I might be able to get on, well, I don't know. How did you get backstage, Charlie? Uh, I told the guy at the door that I was Oprah Winfrey's private pilot. <laughs> In Russia, a guy tried to rob a hairdressing place and he got the shit kicked out of him because he didn't know that the owner was a black belt in karate and then she knocked him out, took him home, tied him up, and fed him only Viagra for three days. When asked, the robber said he would definitely do it again. Hey, thank you, Charlie Cockpit, and thank you, everybody in Boozy Newsland. And remember, even if it's 2014, that's no reason why you can't party like it's 1999. Well, it's nothing like Boozy News.